common combinations of leg submissions and how they fit together and how the defense to one leg submission can cause the other one. So I've broken open the guard. Whichever leg I stand up on is going to isolate a leg. I've got the Achilles lock here, so I would fall back, push that leg out. So the reason I'm pushing that leg out is for him to defend something like a heel hook, he has to turn that direction. It won't do him any good against an Achilles lock, right? But Achilles lock is just pressure and pain for him. I'm not going to break his tibia with my radius and ulna. So if I catch a heel hook, for him to defend this outside heel hook, he'd have to go that way. That's why I'm pushing that leg out to make it hard for him to turn. I've got a toe hold from here. So in this position here, if I get that leg up, all I've got to do is come inside to lock down knee bar and toe hold from there. So those are blended together. Let me go back to that original position I was in. So let's say I've got an outside heel hook that I'm trying to set up and he starts to rotate and he goes that way. I can let that go and go to a calf slicer and take his back and then pull on his back and that'll pull my hips into that calf slicer. That's used a lot in handcuffing. If you can lock somebody down this way, you're like, give me your hands. They'll bring a hand behind the back and you can use that for handcuffing. 